Big Mo, and y'all watching Disney Channel. Yo, shut the do, fuck do, up, do, 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 you heard? VIP bottles all on my table. My niggas with me, we sipping up, I got bad. What's going on, yo, Mayberry Music? I'm here with... Creep Mo, and... And the L, and you know what Y'all know what the vibe is. So Alright, so we, we basically we just got some talk things for today. Uh, we ain't got a lot of conversation, but... What the hoes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Alright, so first... Actually, let's just start this off normal. How, how y'all been lately? Mm, no been chilling, chilling, man. Oh. Last couple months. Y'all ain't got no problems, no nothing? Oh, oh man. Of course, got nails out problems. <laughs> A.K.A. Creep. Oh, always got problems. Yeah. Um... But go ahead and speak up your chest. What's up with y'all? Messing with that one joint. <laughs> 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 That's got it crazy. As Ellie says, I was messing with this one joint. Just know, I wish I would have just unfucked her. Like, I wish I could unfuck some type girls that I fucked in the past. Let's just yeah. say that. That's deep. But other than that, I'm living a great life, you know? Yeah. <laughs> what you been up to, Ellie? I don't know what I'll be doing, nigga. Yeah, I'll be oh. writing songs. Every song. day. Every man. While this nigga laying, a girl run his life, nigga. Yeah, he hey, nah, I feel no, him, though, because I had, I had the, the, my best friend. Yeah. I ain't gonna say her name because I ain't trying to get no legal issues. Yeah, we're not but saying no names. Y'all heard the song, You Lie Ho. Yeah. It was the phone call at the beginning. She threatened to sue me, so I had to take it out. But that was like, that was like, like, I'm still hurt over that for but, me. But, but, so that I was a real phone call? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that shit was, no, that shit was hard, though. Okay, like, yeah, I know, that's, but that shit was Yeah, it was, yeah, 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 but then I had to cut that shit out, because she was tripping. But that's what females do. Oh, uh, man, no offense. Alright, so, so, like, where do y'all, where do y'all stand on relationship and, like, relationship standards? Like, as far as what? As far as, like, what, what what's your position right now? You you looking for something? I'm I'm single. I just got into something terrible, but I feel like this can't hold me back. So I am like looking for something. So That's all fair. you loyal girls out there, hit my line. You heard it. If you not loyal, don't come my fucking way. You know, you see this door behind this? Exit, you heard? Uh, Exit, break the fuck out. I mean, it's no open because the couch is in the way. But we can make it open. We can make it open, you heard? We can make the door open real quick. What's, what's you standing on, Ellie? But I ain't worried about no, no girl. I mean, if there's one, but it's only this one. He you know, but it's only <laughs> one girl I go back to, but if I, I ain't worried about something. No one girl. Man. <laughs> trying to get this money. Facts. And if you ain't trying to get a bag together, shorty, don't hit my line either. <laughs> if you ain't on no type goals type shit, and you just want to fuck and all that, I'm going to want that. Deuces. Deuces. Right out my fucking life. That's for a fact. Shit. So going back to the music. What's, 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 the, what's the vision with Style Free right now? Stop. Yeah, you can try and get better quality right now. Yeah, I'm right. trying to go to the professional studios in the bird. Okay. Um, okay. As far is, as bro. me with South Free, that is still my bros. That is where I started at. Stay I will go. never Stay trade. Leave I leave. did leave. Stay I did leave, leave South Free. Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah, now yeah, I am so quality so trend so music. So 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 I am <laughs> quality trend music now. But. Like I said, forever will be style free. I'm and forever style free, nigga. I got this shit tatted on me. That, that is still someone I fuck with Man, and not, accordingly what I fuck with. I didn't mean to start no beef. No yeah. beef. No, that shit old news. That, that shit all cool. knows. That shit was like cool. last year. Cool. Yeah. I said, just so y'all know, all my songs in the description, I got a shout out style free, so I fuck with them heavy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, still still speaking on music so like all right speaking of which coast to coast february 13th yeah. new york city we're gonna be in brooklyn we're gonna be in new york y'all y'all ready you know we're popping out y'all y'all don't know nothing about it creep monk like i said it's creep monk i was watching disney channel but still with the music bro she like with the with the phone call 
What what's y'all position on that? You think that's fucked up? I actually did not hear the song, so I me? couldn't tell I you. I heard that shit, bro. You and that shit. It that's was way crazy, crazy it was bro. Way I don't know what I would do. But that's why I'm not like really trying to get in order. This is it. I'm not trying to get back with Shorty. Now, that's the thing, bro. We weren't even we weren't even together, bro. We were just best friends. Exactly. So like that's really Imagine, true. bro. Imagine what a girl could really do to you, bro. Like, for real. Look back. That shit, bro. Yo, I got cheated on by I won't say her name. She's not from here. She's from Jersey Shore, PA. She know who she is. Jersey. I got she, she cheated on me with five different guys, and I was more mad at this girl that was my best friend. I'm more mad at her than I was when I got cheated on. Like I'm more hurt by that than when I because got cheated on. Because it's her. Yeah. Facts. Exactly. I have a no, story just like so cool. that. Right, I'm not you. mad at girly for what she has done. I'm not mad at that. I'm sorry. I'm not mad at I the gotta... fact of what she has done. I am mad because. We are closer than that. We are cooler than that. Right. It's not the simple fact of what you've done. It's who done it. All right, how you went about this? How you went about it. Yeah, that's different. If you would have kept it real, well, I, have no other op- I have no other option but to accept the fact. Yeah, that's it. Because I said it better, bro. So, but, yeah. So, what's y'all's what's y'all future... Like, of music, what y'all want to do in the future for music? Shit, sure, man, same shit everybody want to do. I want to I be famous, but, like, I also want people to, like, because I'm going to maybe start talking about some shit in my, spit some knowledge in my shit. So I want y'all to listen to me, music. feel from my different, from, from right. my point of view, maybe. Spit some knowledge in y'all soul, man, because niggas be talking about dumb mean, ass man. shit, bro. Yeah. And that and niggas will fuck with that shit, but but the conscious rappers like they cold kind of a mind. Yeah, when they actually talk about knowledge and shit, and like the old school niggas too, like Ja Rule, uh, the Wu Tang Clan, like Wu Tang Clan was popular, but like all them spit knowledge, bro. Like I'm trying to bring it back to that shit. Yeah, yeah. niggas talk about shit. Um, what's your opinion? As far as music with me, I really am at a standstill. I don't know if I want to drop music. I actually been thinking about doing the clothing line. Um, which I'm not going to drop the name of it yet, but that might be coming soon in 2020. 2020. All right, all right. 2020 is that year, uh, bro. Can't say much because you know we're like, No New yeah. Year's resolution, but 2020 that year, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be, yo, we all going to be popping 2020. It's Kanye be West running for president? Come on, man. What y'all, what y'all's views, like, first, because, like, first day for me, um, I'm, I'm, like, I'm relevant in a way with the industry and mm-hmm. I know what it's really like now just from talking to different artists and all these people saying this cap I don't, I don't care I'm not gonna prove nothing to y'all like honestly y'all, y'all ain't shit to me at all um, fuck y'all <laughs> right well not fuck our viewers but fuck our haters fuck the haters yeah they, they're talking too fuck much they're motivators y'all actually make us yeah, doing this shit that we do like, every day. Y'all talking shit, but Keep you're, it watching, you're watching the video right now, so I, I like the support. I appreciate right. the hate. Thanks for the support. Yeah, but uh, what y'all's views on the industry, like how it affects the artist for real? Because like it's deeper than music. Because I was watching this interview with Little Skies, and like, like man's it's hurt for real. Like he's really depressed, and the industry you can't express that. Only way for you can express that is through your music. Right. So, like, what y'all views on the industry and like how serious people gotta take it? Like. And how deep it is. Honestly, I never had a fun in the industry as far as music wise. So I I personally can't say how I would feel or how I would take it, but um I feel that every rapper has a different point of view. Um everybody goes about it a certain way or a different way. It might be this way or that way, so it all depends who you are. And and who you're talking about or what industry? It it depends on a lot. Let's just say. But me, bro, y'all, y'all know why why K O Cyrus, right? Yeah. And y'all, and y'all saw that Instagram you video. You just gotta be worth it. Yeah. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all saw that Instagram yeah, yeah, or that uh, yeah. video he posted about how the music industry is um evil, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like the devil, but I only. I don't believe everything he say, but like some shit he's saying is like actual facts. But like I think it depends on how you like go in the industry. I'm 
I don't know shit about the industry. I mean, I know a lot about the industry. I never been in the industry though. Like I never talked to no you know famous artists and shit like that. All I know is rap, bro. But like I see on YouTube, and, bro. Like I ain't trying to get caught up in that shit. I'm trying to fame, but like yeah. niggas be getting taken out of control, like by the Illuminati, bro. Niggas making clones, bro. Like hey, that, that's y'all probably shit, don't believe me, true. bro. But like I think that's it too, bro. Like, it's, it's a good point of view on it, though. It right. really is, because that, that would explain a lot of shit where everyone... Yeah, that's why niggas doing independent labels. The only artist that I want to I want to hit me back, that hasn't hit me back yet, is Famous Dex. Dexter, Famous Dex. hit me back on Instagram, I sent you a message, alright? Hit me back. Um, oh, man. talking about messages. Molly Brazy. <laughs> my wifey. But who, I hope you see this right because I'm gonna need you to text me back with your sexy ass, cause it was <laughs> fucking shoot beautiful. Shot. Shoot shot. Straight on Insta or uh, YouTube, but I hope you see this podcast, cause you're fucking beautiful. Yeah, I'm most beautiful. And if I ever make it to the industry, I'm shooting my shot at you first. <laughs> Fuck every other girl in the baby. industry, Molly Baby, you got it. All right. So y'all, y'all wanna keep it on the music topic? We can keep it on any bit. time. All right, one more, one more thing for the music. <clears throat> what, what inspired y'all in the booth? Did y'all use it? Because for me personally, I started using it as like therapy. Like every time I get um, in the booth, how y'all use it? To, like, honestly, it? what inspired me to start rapping was being around my bros. They used to sit in the shed. At the time, we had mad holes. We had. We always had liquor. We always had weed. So we was always partying. Like, we don't know how, how we did it. Bro. We just always, we, just always, we always came thing. up with it. At the end of the day, we always no made a team time. effort to come up with that. <laughs> so but we used to rap and stuff. And my bros, I would freestyle all the time. My bros would be like, rap, 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 bro. And he ended up was the first person to have a studio in that group. And we were sitting there smoking one day, and his dad actually played this song called What's the Problem, Baby? Um, we're not going to describe who it's about or anything like that. But he's lying. We're not going to say who it's about. We're not going to say no names. But um, I was sitting there high in the studio one day, and he was like, here, go just finish this verse out. And it was my first time ever rapping, and I just wrote the verse real quick. It came to me. I laid it down. Um, we played a phone call afterwards, um, and it kind of just happened. But really, I I I took off after that because NBA came out, and well, he was already out before that, and I just felt I just felt like if he could do it, I could do it. And I always looked up to him with his music because he made a song called Untouchable. Mm-hmm. Untouchable, like basically that song hit my heart, made me start rapping. All right, all right, really? Right. Right. I don't even know to be honest. Like <laughs> I just started writing out of nowhere. Like <clears throat> back when I lived in Queens, back in the city, where like. I just started rapping, bro. Like, niggas was bullying me and shit. I used to get beat up, bro, like, every day back in the city, bro. By the girls, nigga. Them girls are husky <laughs> as shit, nigga. I'm trying to tell you. That's why That's why I slap a couple girls up here because I'm like, bro, she about to beat me up, bro. Like, nah. But nah, 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 nah. Fuck that dude, bro. <laughs> nah, I just started writing, though. No, no woman bitches. We do not promote abuse of women at all. Yeah, yeah, we don't be. We do not promote that at all. I was young, nigga. I was. We are very against. He was. He was. He was a young boy. I was a young boy, man. Yeah. I thought I was gonna get beat up, nigga. If you thought he was gonna get beat up, who would you do? We're gonna defend ourselves. You don't gotta get mad at them, bro. They ain't do nothing. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. So. Nah, I just started running, bro. Like, and I just kept going with it. That's I it. I was like ten years old. What this sound like, nigga? All right, yeah. That's it. I said the only the main thing that like kicked me off was his uh pretending remix. Oh yeah. I was like, yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, I was like yo, yeah, that shit yeah, hard. Yeah, so then I made my own yeah, version like, of it. Uh, uh, and send uh, me I that song, but yeah, that shit, that shit hard. This nigga rapping now, all right. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Jamari, I did a remix to his song with Terrell. Um, I really fucked up the audio on that. I don't know how I fucked it up that bad, but I did. 
Yeah, after that, I started using this therapy with the song Tell Me, my latest one, You Lie Ho. Like, that, that shit's real from my heart. And, like, I'm trying to make more music like that, but at the same time, I want to give y'all what y'all want. Right. So, y'all, y'all got to tell me what kind of music you want. Right. If you fuck with the... the Comment a topic, um, how you yeah. feel. Um, Comment below in the comments and let us know if y'all have... Some, how y'all feel <laughs> Yo, you, about a certain situation we could try to make a song on it. Yeah. I can't guarantee it, but we can try to. Yeah. You sound like Alligator. Like the like button. Like in the comments. Like the like and subscribe. <laughs> like the no. like and subscribe. Alright, so uh is there anything y'all wanna wanna really get out there to like just just to speak on for the people? Um yeah. Good. Good. It ain't gotta be no relationship, it could just be some some real shit. Like it could be anything, bro. I'll tell y'all right now. Who you think is your backbone or your bros or whatever the case may be, check that. You oh, might shit. think that, they might tell you that, they might be in your ear all day talking to you, but they might just be there for a beneficial reason. Um, a good song to listen to to make you think about that is fuck me. It says they're only there for beneficial reasons. Like if they're not... They can't benefit off of you, then there is. They don't want to be around you. They That's start right acting right. fake. Right. They cut you off because you might not have what they want. Rather it be weed, or cigarettes, or liquor, or anything. It could be your time, it could be your car, it could be anything. If they can benefit or they can get what they want out of you, people will use the shit out of you. So be careful. Yes, that's real shit. It. That's yeah. all I gotta say. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Some advice for the people out there. Some advice. Mm-hmm. From Creep. From Creep. Y'all got anything else to add? Nothing? I know niggas don't. They, they ain't really fucking with, with our music right there. They ain't. There's a lot of fake love. Facts. Oh. Um, Oh, Stop, talking about Just talking period, about fake bro. love. Oh, yeah. uh, that Carlisle uncover page. Uh, y'all throwing on. shots at at me about my own music and stuff. Guess what? I'm gonna tell y'all all about hey, yo, this. Yo, Let facts. me tell you this. I do not give a fuck about your opinions. I did <laughs> not get in that booth to make y'all happy. I got yeah. in that booth to make myself happy. Yeah. I felt comfortable enough to post my music. Because I liked it. Regardless yeah. of y'all hating on me, y'all not gonna stop my grind. Y'all never gonna make me hate y'all. You see, I did not entertain that shit. I do not give a fuck. Hate all you want because at the end of the day, you're still supporting me by listening to my music, watching my music videos, anything. You're right. giving me a like. So, keep on hating, and I'm gonna keep on smiling. Right. They made a whole Snapchat page about hate, man. Carlo yeah, Uncover, like, yeah, bro. That, Did that, you see that shit? No, I, I seen one thing, and they was talking about, you know, that best friend that I had. They talked yeah. about her in there. Yeah, So, bro. like, I know they all, they, they, like, bro, go the fuck up, for real. Like, I mean, Yo, honestly, it's 2020, I man. I it's, time, it's, it's, it's time to get a fucking bag and stop worrying about the drama. Stop trying to beef with each other. Right. Stop killing each other. It's time to get your own bag. There's no need to hit licks no more. If you can't get your own bag, don't go try to rob the next guy. Don't try to do none of that. We done been there, done that. I'm telling you that. It's not worth it at all. It's not worth it. And then they, they at least to jail time or at least to somebody dying or somebody being hurt, somebody's family being hurt, anything. It's not worth it. Chase your own yeah, bag, get your own bag, that. chill out. That's about it. Speaking on that topic, rest in peace, G Mac, my old manager. Um, you know, rest in peace, my cousin Sam. Um, briefly on that, you know, which I, I he was the wrong person. They wasn't intending to kill. Um, they thought he was him, and that's why I take gun violence very serious now yeah. because my cousin was only seventeen. That shit gets deep. It gets very, very deep. These streets are not a game at all. Not even in Carlisle. It can get serious at times. Yeah. 
Patrice O'Neal. Oh, Patrice O'Neal. Oh, no, but like he, he was saying some real shit on the, on relationship and stuff. But like how I'm living now is like don't get attached to something you can't leave within thirty seconds and not lose all your happiness. Because mm. then you're relying too much on that one thing. On that one happy. person. Yeah. That one so thing. You, you got to learn deep down. It's going to take time. You can't do it right away. But deep down, you got to learn how to how to be happy with yourself in your own your own space, your mm. own company. And if you can't do that, you, you, you're going to be stuck for a while. You're going to be leaning on them. And leaning one on thing them. I learned, one thing to go off of what he's saying is one thing I learned, uh, J.I. said it. He said, uh, I think it was J.I. He said, how the fuck are you going to be loyal to them if you ain't helping yourself? If you, I'm sorry, if you ain't loyal to yourself. Um, that's, that's a very strong verse to me because it's like, I'm not loyal to myself. How am I helping somebody else? You can't mm-hmm. help nobody until you help yourself. And a lot of that, even even we all make mistakes, but I even do. You know, it's not it's not nothing that's not normal. But we all got to figure out a way to help ourselves before helping others. Some of us just have kind hearts and it takes more time. Yeah. And that's one thing we got to learn. You got anything to add? It was being quiet. No, y'all, y'all been saying this. Is- all right, y'all. It's been real. Go ahead and shout out y'all socials if you want. Uh, yeah. Add me on Snap, Darnell1475. That is D-A-R-N-E-L-L. 1475. Alright, yo. It's been real. It's been real. Thanks for coming Thank on. You. <laughs> no, it is. Like, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Comment down below what you want to see, who you want on the show next. Um, Before I leave, it's Craig Monk, and you're watching Disney Channel